Hey guys, Jared back again, and in my how to install Android L preview on your Nexus 5 video, I mentioned in there that I'd be showing you how to root it. So today, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to root your Nexus 5 running Android L. And um, this should take under 5 minutes, thanks to Chainfire. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Alright folks, so I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below to this page right here. This is CF Auto Root for your Hammerhead Nexus 5. Uh, this is actually Chainfire with, I should say, with including Chainfire's um, latest update to Super SU, which will give us the correct binaries needed to root Android L. So that said, uh, once you've come to this page after clicking on the link in the description below the video, go ahead and click on this link right here, CF Auto Root Hammerhead, yada, yada, yada. Once you've downloaded that, go ahead and save it somewhere safe. Um, I just created a folder on my desktop called Android L, which is where I not only housed the um, zip file to flash and recovery to flash Android L, as well as the actual uh, CF Auto Root file from Chainfire. Now I've created another folder in here called CF Auto Root uh, for the Nexus 5, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and drag and drop that in there. Now you don't necessarily need to do exactly what I just did. Uh, however, it's just sort of for like um, housekeeping purposes, if you will. Uh, so the next thing you're going to do is we're going to extract the files here. So you're either going to have WinRAR or WinZip and you're going to just right click on it and then click on extract here. That is going to extract some additional files, as you can see here. Now, from this point on, we're going to go ahead and switch to the device camera. So we've got my Nexus 5 in hand here. We're going to go ahead and actually power this off. And we'll wait for that to power off, and that should take just a second. So the next thing we're going to do is press and hold the volume down rocker and the power button. So we're going to go ahead and do that, press and hold, and that will eventually boot us to this screen. So you're just going to go ahead and leave it. Just leave it there. You don't necessarily need to play around with the volume rocker. And from there, what you're going to do is actually plug in your micro USB to from your computer to your Nexus 5. If I can just, oh boy, I was pushing that in the wrong way. Don't ever do that, folks. Don't ever push that in the wrong way. Uh, so I'm just using parallels. I don't know if you're able to see that or not, so just bear with me. Uh, and then from that point on, because we're using Windows, literally all you have to do is double click the root Windows uh, batch file. I'm going to go ahead and click on run. As you can see here, we've got another file. Maybe I can go ahead and expand this a little bit more. Nope, won't let me. Um, this way? Nope, won't let me. Okay, well anyways, all it's saying is go ahead and press any key to continue. So well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Any key to continue. And you can see on the device, it's going to be rebooting it. And you'll see there's the red Android guy. And if you look closely, it says rebooting in 10 seconds. If you need to factor reset, blah, 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 triangle away, you can ignore all that. Uh, and on our computer screen here, we're just going to go ahead and press any key to continue, which will close it down. Um, upon reboot, we should be rooted, but we're going to do one other thing to double check that by downloading root checker from the Play Store. So we're going to go ahead and let it uh, do its boot process and we'll be right back once it's finished booting up. Okay, so now that our device is fully booted up, what we're gonna do is jump into the application tray and scroll on over till we find Super SU, which has been pushed via the CF Auto Root program that we just used. But we wanna make sure that it is in fact rooted. So we're gonna jump into the Play Store and I am going to search for Root Checker. Root Checker, there it is. So we can go ahead and download that. Install, yes. Wait for that to install, should just take a moment. Alrighty, now that root checker's been installed, we're gonna go ahead, we're, <laughs> I'm screwing up my words here, we're going to go ahead and open it on up. It's gonna go ahead and click agree, we're gonna click okay, then we're gonna click on verify root access, because it's asking us for super user permission, right then and there we know that it has root access, but we're gonna click on grant anyways, and as you can see, congratulations, this device has root access. And that's it, folks. So that's it, guys. You now have root access on your Nexus 5 running Android L developer preview. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. And if you did, do me a favor and click that likes button down below. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos in the future to stay up to date. Um, but that's it. Thanks, as always, for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.